Hi, welcome to Healthy Food, Happy You. I'm your host, Gina Lewis, and today on the show, we're gonna be talking with Asosa E. She is a health food blogger and actress. It's so good to have you on the show It's lovely today. to be here. Thank you so much. We are gonna be making spinach pie, and then we're gonna be making chocolate mousse, right? Yep, I'm really excited oh, about it. Good choices, I'm excited <laughs> too. What are we gonna start with? Okay, so we're gonna start with the spinach pie, and the spinach pie is vegan, so that means that there's no dairy in it, there's no meat in it. Um, Love it. And the first thing we have to do is go, come over here to our crusts, and we're going to preheat these crusts. Sure. And what you wanna do is the bottom portion of the crust, you wanna poke holes in it, because if you don't poke holes in it, it's just gonna rise and be a mess in the oven. So I always do that first. Is this, a, is this something you wanna do every time you're working with crust? You really should. Um, I don't poke holes in the top part because I'm actually going to lay that on top. Oh, um, but nice. but if you um, don't put um, holes in it, what happens is it just rises and it becomes a hot mess. And you'll be, <laughs> I learn something new every day. <laughs> <laughs> so just poking some holes in there and then we're good to go. Okay. So we will stick both of these crusts in the oven. Get that one. And And we'll come back to them as we're dealing with the filling. Alrighty, and you want to have your oven at 375. Cracks. 375. And then how long do you? Well, want really, to keep an eye to make sure you want to make sure that they don't get brown yet. Sure. It's just kind of a preheating thing, and you want them to get just a little. It's, it's like in between done and and um and completely raw. Okay, perfect. So usually by the time we're finished with this, that'll be ready. So we're gonna start with the filling, and the filling is really really simple. Um. I always use coconut oil. I love coconut oil, and yours is actually already It's melted. melted. Yeah, I, I usually try to have it melted when I'm cooking with it. Coconut oil is really, really great to cook with. It's actually the best oil to cook with because it does not turn rancid. Yes. And it has a very, very high smoke point. Right. So that means it's not going to be toxic for you at high temperatures. It's not toxic in your body, and also sure. means that when you take it in your body, you're not going to have a bunch of free radicals, which accelerate aging. Mm -hmm. So it's really there important. There was a hype about olive oil for quite a while, and a lot of people didn't realize that at high temperatures, it does turn toxic. It does. It really does. Okay, so after you get your oil in there, and you're going to let the pan heat up a little bit, the first thing you're gonna put in is some onions, and I've already chopped up some onions. And you can that use whatever so good. kind of onions mm -hmm. you like. We're gonna just like turn this up a little bit and get that going. You want me to Would you like to even that out a little bit? Yeah, right. as much as I can help, I'd love to. I'm gonna to. add a little bit more coconut oil so that it actually starts to, and what we do with the onions is we are, we are going to caramelize the onions. Have you ever okay. caramelized onions before? I have. Let me just get some oil all around. Yeah, we're just gonna let let them um, fry until they get slightly translucent, and then we'll add in the um, the mushrooms. And you can use any kind of mushrooms you like. The whole point of using the mushrooms in the spinach pie is to kind of like just make it a little meatier because sure. it's not a meat pie. Give it a little. So it just gives it a little bit more texture and flavor. Sure. Alrighty. Now, what about grapeseed oil? Is grapeseed oil... Well, pretty much all oils except for coconut oil are rancid oils. It means they're dead oils. Yes. And I saw on something that you use it as a lotion too, right? Yes. You can actually use coconut oil as a moisturizer. You can use mm -hmm. it as a conditioner. I do. I use it as a like weekly deep conditioner. You can use it as a makeup it. remover. Did you know that? No, but I heard, see, this is the amazing thing about coconut oil. I could go on and on. You can right. use it on your eyelashes, and it helps your eyelashes grow really long and lush. It's just amazing. Check it out. Yeah, no, Get it's really, really, oil. really useful, and it will save you money, too, because... Mm -hmm. All right, we're waiting for these... Uh, oh, it's way cheaper than all those crazy beauty products out there. Oh, totally. Then you just the need, like, one thing in your cabin instead right. of just, one like... One thing and... Yeah. While the onions is, are going, why don't we just go ahead and do the tofu portion? Okay, sounds so good. So the tofu portion is the part that you're going to mix in with the spinach. Mm -hmm. So this right here is extra firm tofu, but it's not the kind that's packaged in the grocery store in the refrigerator section. This is the kind that is it's out on the shelves. Is that the aseptic, I guess is what they call it? It's in the cardboard. It's in a cardboard sure. thing. And you want to so get organic. on the shelves. It's really important that you get organic tofu. Um, because a lot of soy is genetically modified, and you want to make sure that there Absolutely. we go. Absolutely, and it really um, it absorbs those pesticides too. So it does. you want to make sure that it's 
We're getting this coconut oil smells so good. Doesn't it? it? It's onions. amazing. It I actually adds it. flavor to the dish. Mm. So over here with the tofu, I'm going to add what you're basically doing is this is becoming the cheese in your pie, the tofu. Okay. So what you're doing is adding in some um, two teaspoons of curry, and the curry makes it yellow. And that's what kind of gives you that cheesy color. Sure. So I'm going to put two teaspoons in there. Eating is very mental too, so I know I know a lot of people will appreciate that color. And in there, and curry you, is delicious. Curry yes, butter. curry's also really good for you. So, what benefits does curry have? Well, curry is anti-inflammatory, especially because of the turmeric that's in it. Mm -hmm. um, oh yeah, I've had a doctor tell me. Eat turmeric and you'll stay young forever. Yes, turmeric is very, very um, um, great for anti-aging. Yes. I'm going to also add in here a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. Actually, my might add in like, that was a half, so I'm going to add in one more of these. Okay. So a teaspoon of Himalayan sea salt. And that's all we need in the curry, I mean in the um, tofu portion. Sounds easy enough. Yeah, and then all we do, you actually don't need water or anything. You just blend this up, and I have a high-speed blender, so it it's pretty strong. You have Voila. the kind of blender that every chef envies. <laughs> so if you can see it, it's like a, there's a little bit of tofu in there. Cheesy. But you see how it looks cheesy? Yeah, it's let's like a, a yellow, shot. Looks yellow really good. color. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. You got the onions yeah, going. Yeah, these look really good. Okay. All right, That's our onions are earlier. looking pretty good. Yeah, that looks They're really good. They're starting to like get a little light brown. Lower, yeah. And you don't want to overcook them because you're going to cook them longer with the spinach and with the mushrooms. Okay. So now I'm just going to add in the mushrooms. So these are just regular... These are um, just regular mushrooms, but you can actually do have a lot of fun and you can do shiitake if I you like. shiitake mushrooms. Try something a little different or do Oyster more than one type of mushroom is nice in this mm -hmm. dish. So I'll let you play with that for a little bit. Sounds good. And then is this spinach um, just a, was it a frozen spinach? Right. Or? So this is two bags of uh, like 16 ounce bags of frozen organic spinach. And what I did is I drained it and strained it. Drained so that's it all and strained it. That's all you got to do. You got to make sure that there's not too much water in it because then your pie, the filling will be too watery. You don't want it to be like soupy. Okay. Because um, you want it to gel together. Yes. In there we want to add a little bit of um, sea salt as well. If you have, I actually don't have it with me today, but if you have Bragg's Liquid Aminos, yeah, I really like using that on the spinach part. Every health foodie has. Yeah, that's really great. The Liquid Aminos at home. But today we'll just add in a little sea salt. Okay. And that also like helps with the onions, bring Process out the flavor. Process a little bit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I like to put in there um, some red crushed pepper. So I'm gonna put in there Ooh. some of that. And it can be a little spicy, so if you don't spice. like spicy, don't do it. <laughs> I love spicy. All right, we're, we're making progress. Progress. It's looking pretty good. I would say so. Maybe like one or two more minutes or so. Sure. Um, the great part, do you know about spinach? I know that it's that Popeye loves it. So. Yes, and Popeye's <laughs> always right. That's right. <laughs> So it the makes thing, you nice and strong. Right, so the thing about spinach is actually it's better for your bones than like drinking milk. The calcium and Well, the, the, it's really the vitamin K. It really? has over 200% the daily value of vitamin K. That is wonderful. And it is full of antioxidants and all these great minerals and all that stuff. And then spinach is also really great for any sort of inflammation related diseases. Right, vitamin K also helps prevent bruising as well. So oh, wow. yeah, that would All right, be so a let's put in the spinach. Spinach task. And just add that in there. I know a lot of people um, say they get bruises all the time and they have no idea how. What, how? So I'm like vitamin K, that vitamin K. That happens all the time too. Yeah. So you just want to keep working this in with it the looks mushrooms. Oh so God, I just want to dive in right now. 
That's the problem with cooking at home, is you just eat a little as you go. Thank you so much. And then by the time it's ready to serve, you're like, ah, oh, there's not much left. Right. I ate it all, sorry. Let's add a little more coconut oil in there just to make sure that it's actually not going to get gonna stuck stick. to the bottom of your pan. Yeah, it usually won't. Once it, once you have the onions and the mushrooms going, it has enough moisture in there to keep it going. But I can't describe how good this smells. It's so yummy. Can't wait to dig in. Alrighty, so after you have this this finished dish going, and we're pretty good here, like the mushrooms are, are pretty cooked. Sure. And the onions are caramelized. All we're gonna do is mix in our cheesy mixture okay. into this. So easy. Yeah, it's just easy. I mean, this easy. is something that anybody can do this. Anybody can do after work. A kid can do really it. Easy. That's another good thing for moms that have kids running around while they're trying to cook. Enlist the help of your kids. <laughs> It's really important because they also they need to learn. Yes. They need to understand what healthy cooking is about. And, so true. And know how to make things or else they'll be like, Mom, I got to college and I don't know how to make anything. <laughs> Suddenly I'm living off of ramen noodles. Right. All right, so we have our cheesy in there. And you're actually going to keep cooking while the tofu is in there. It's almost like just let it congeal a little bit. Sure. Okay. And you can see that this is starting to look like some sort of like a quiche almost. A quiche almost, mm -hmm. right? And so the great part about this filling is that before you even put it in the pie crust, it's almost completely done. That's why it's amazing because then you don't yeah. really have to Spend keep the time. pie in the oven too long. It's really just about the crust browning. It's not really about the filling becoming done. So there we go. This is our filling. How easy. I'm so and glad really you're making pretty. this. It is so pretty. I have been craving a quiche type of dish lately. Oh, really? The other really cool thing you can do with this is you can make this spinach portion and you can mix it in with other grains like a quinoa or oh, a rice and it makes it yeah, like a cheesy, that would be a perfect cheesy dinner. rice. So, good. so that's done. All we're going to do is put our filling directly into this. Another good thing to get the kids to help out with. Yeah, they love doing that mm -hmm. stuff. Super, super easy and super fun. And you can smell it already. It already oh, starts to smell like it's done. Oh, this would be so perfect around the holidays too. It's a to great, great holiday dish because it's mm -hmm. like very filling. And it could be inside dish. You could do it along with something or it could be like a main course. And so after we fill up our pie, we just put this on top. Yes, and it sounds, it's easier than, it, I mean, sounds easier than it actually is. It's tricky? It's a little tricky, and let's see what's going on here with our crust. So, I have this thing, right? I usually flip it on my hand, and then I flip it down on the thing. I don't, I don't even know if you saw how I just did that. I did. <laughs> I just don't know if I could do it. And okay. then I'm going to just press down, right? Just Wild. gently. Wild, how cool. And the thing is that if they weren't, they, they're not that cooked actually, it's just the edges are a little sure. brown. If they were a little bit looser, Softer. it'd make it even easier. Mm -hmm. But you see it just becomes a top. Yeah. You know, it's a little That's top. That's great. And then again, you don't want to um, go around without poking holes into this thing. So I'm going to poke some holes in here with our little fork. Because Sounds before you stick good. it back in the oven to finish, you want it to have some holes so that it can breathe and the spinach can actually like cook on the inside. And how long do we put it back in the oven for? So you're just gonna actually put it back in the oven for maybe like 15 minutes. Maybe. 15 minutes, same temperature, or less. 375? Or less, and I would turn it Perfect. down to like 350-ish. 350, yep. okay. Well, we are going to clean up here and get ready to make a delicious chocolate mousse. So stick around, we're gonna throw this in the oven and we'll see you back in a sec. We're back with Asosa E, 
and we are going to be making this delicious chocolate mousse. I'm and it so takes excited. no time at all. Sounds so great. We'll start with two avocados. Because I have like 50 kids, <laughs> so being done in a few minutes is important. And then we're going to put in a third cup of agave nectar. Avocados for chocolate mousse, huh? Yeah. I'm actually making double, so I'm going to put two of these in there. Okay. Um, you When you're making it for yourself, you only need one avocado. One because avocado. Unless you want to be a glutton and have a lot of chocolate in your life. <laughs> Three avocados then. Yeah. <laughs> and then we want to use vanilla extract, and vanilla extract adds like a really awesome flavor to it. Perfect. And I'm just going to add in a teaspoon of that. And I'm doubling everything, so I'm going to do two of these. Okay. So if you want to make it just for yourself, you would just, just have one everything. Teaspoon. Okay. And then we're going to do three tablespoons. If you were using one avocado, you use three tablespoons. I'm using two, so I'm going to use six of these. Okay. And this is raw cacao powder. Also so good for you. So good for you. It's actually a superfood and has amazing amounts of antioxidants. Um, also great for aging and all that stuff. And then really quickly, we're going to throw in some Himalayan pink sea salt, and then we're good to go. That was super easy. Wasn't it? I can do that. I can do easy. So you just need a little bit of water. When you're doing one avocado, you need about a half a cup. I have a cup here, and what I do is I usually piecemeal it, just in case. You sure, don't want it to be want runny. It runny. Mm -hmm. So it's good to piecemeal it and see how it goes. That was so easy. I know, right? So easy, a mom of 50 kids can do it. Literally five minutes. How cool. Yeah. Well, stick right there. We're gonna have this at the table. So join us back in a few over at the table. We'll see you there. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. Welcome back to my favorite part of the show, and not just for the delicious food, but to get to know our guest as well. Assessa, this looks delicious. I'm excited about it. It's one of my favorite meals. I'm so glad you shared it with us. So you are a foodie blogger, right? I am a health blogger. I focus on raw foods, vegan lifestyle, natural beauty, stuff like that. Well, I believe it because your skin is just glowing. Your Thank hair you. is gorgeous. Your Thank eyes you. are bright. So it can only be attributed to your amazing genetics and healthy food, right? It's definitely diet. <laughs> diet was a big really? part of like changing my skin and getting my skin to a better place. Yeah. So yeah. tell us, how did you um, get into food and healthy food? Well, I was vegan for over 10 years, and then, I, but I wasn't feeling very well, and I was unhealthy, and my, I had a lot of acne and stuff. So I decided to kind of overhaul my diet and go more on a raw diet. Mm -hmm. And I did that in around like 2008. And within one month, my skin was completely clear, mm -hmm. and my energy was really high, and wow. all those things. Yeah. And so, did you have any bad side effects at first, like a detox? Kind oh, of? totally. There was a huge detox period. I was juicing. Um, I was doing okay. a lot of my personal detox, and I didn't even know what I was doing at the time. Uh, um, but all of but my it still still worked. It and worked, it and it was a good learning experience because now I'm able to sure. share it with other people who don't know what to do. Definitely. Um, but it was definitely a journey. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely not an experience you want to go into without getting some help from people who've been there, done that. Yeah, it helps so, a lot. Glad you went first. Thanks. <laughs> And I know <laughs> viewers are going to be like, how did she get into food? Duh, we all eat. But honestly, we don't eat food. You know, the standard American diet is not food. So when I say, how did you get into food? I mean, legit food. So one month clear skin. And then 
after that you were like, I've got to share this? Well, I, well, after that, it was more like people started asking me questions. They wanted to know why my skin was glowing, why I had so much energy, why I was doing so many things. Well, yeah. And then it was like <laughs> turned into well. like three hour conversations. So yes. like I just got this random inspiration to start a blog in around 2009. And ever since then, it's made my life so much easier because instead of being like, I'm going to tell you all about colonics right now. Yes. It's like I can just say, go to the blog. I have this really great article. You can check it out. And I thought it was so interesting too because I was reading your bio and you have a background in filmmaking, right? I do. So it was like filmmaking, health food, filmmaking. <laughs> how do the two tie together? They, uh, I don't know how they tie together, but I, I've always been um, in front of the camera as an actress and done theater and stuff like that. And then I moved behind the camera because I like storytelling and I sure. want to be more in control of my career in some aspects. So I love filmmaking, um, but I haven't really married them to the two things yet. Oh no, I would love to see some films <laughs> about you know what real food is. Right, right. You're not the first person to say that. You gonna do that someday? We'll think about it. Okay. <laughs> so you act as well, and you were talking a little bit before the show about your skin and how you it was sink or swim. You had to have that beautiful glow mm -hmm. for the camera. Yeah, I act and I also model as well. I've done um, one of the stories that I tell in my book is about having really bad acne on the day that I was doing a shoot for Essence magazine oh, and no. just like being horrified. Not the day you <laughs> want to have bad skin. Yeah, so you know, I've done like a lot of things in front of the camera and that's really, make, getting control of my diet has really not only like changed my life, but like opened up a lot of avenues for me like wow. in my career. That's so good to hear. Yeah. So tell us about, um, other other models is this typical in the modeling industry or the acting industry where everyone's you know trying to eat right and well it's catching on a lot more i mean obviously you hear I've noticed this nowadays celebrities. there's a lot of celebrities that are going vegan um there are a lot of people in front of the camera going vegan because they want to stay younger and longer instead of getting plastic surgery so it's it's i mean it's a Ooh, beauty thing too so you, we're moving more from the knife <laughs> we're moving more from the knife to, to preventative health and diet it. I mean, and you really can do it. There are a million and one examples of amazing people who are like in their 70s, 80s and look flawless. Very interesting. Just based on eating raw foods or eating a high, you know, mm. high amount of fruits and vegetables. Tell us about your book. You said you had a book. Yeah, I have a book. It's called yeah. The Acne Free Diet. And it's about my journey um, from being acne ridden and trying to um, deal with my career um, to getting through it and mm -hmm. I kind of give all of the tips of what I've done. So there's a three day detox in there wow. with a lot of juice recipes, ones that I use on myself and I break down all the nutritional values of everything that you're, you're consuming in the juice and why it's good for your skin. And then I also go into detox, I go into colonics, I go into what is acne because a lot of people always think of it as like something I need to get off of my skin, but they don't realize it's a warning sign for your or things things going on in your body like Absolutely. your organs. It all ties together. Yeah, and, food and if really you don't deal it? with it, it could actually lead to like really really bad diseases. Yeah, um, there's a quote that says you're either feeding disease or fighting or fighting it. it. Very so true. So let's taste this okay, food that is going to help us fight disease and give us beautiful glowing skin. Mm. Oh, that's it's really good. I really that's like the this quiche I've pie. been craving all these years. So good. Spinach pie. I'm definitely making for, this for Thanksgiving. You ready for the mousse? Heck yeah, or? I've been ready for the mousse since right, you said you were going to make the mousse. I'm always like, mmm. Mm-hmm. The thing about chocolate, you know, it gives you that serotonin boost. Oh, yeah. So we're about to get really so happy. So I'm going to go home very happy. Mm -hmm. See, honey, you'll be glad I did the show today. <laughs> Oh, have you ever served this at a party? I have. And then told people it was avocado and they were like, what the what? <laughs> <laughs> people get really excited about it because they're like, wow, I can eat this and not feel bad about myself. Absolutely. It's just avocado. It's amazing how great you feel whenever not only is your food indulgent, but it's actually really good for you too. Yes, yes. And cacao is a superfood. It has tons of antioxidants. So it's great for your skin. It's great for mm. just health overall. Absolutely. People want more info, where can they find you? They can find me on my blog. It's www.rawgirltoxicworld.com. Raw Girl Toxic World. You couldn't have found a better name for that blog. And I'm on Facebook. Raw Girls on Facebook and on Twitter. And then my personal website for acting and all that stuff is asosae.com. Love it, Asosa. Thank you so much. 
If you want to see more clips, behind the scenes pictures, um, you can go to healthyfoodhappyu.com and we will see you next time. Thanks for being here. Thank you. Loved it. I'll have to give you a hand. <laughs> so good.